everyone. Uh, last week I bought a toy that can trace my face uh, when I walk around here. Oh no, it, it's a red line now here. Uh, here, back, back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm here. The AI of this machine is not smart. I'm here. Listen to me. I'm your host, right? Shut down. Okay, green. Here, here, yeah, yeah. I prevent to walk to this way. Otherwise, this machine will trace all beauties here. <laughs> then it will not come back. Okay, everyone. Uh, in the beginning of this class, I want to remind the, uh, in the end of this semester, we need, to, we need to have some presentations here. You're right, the vertical bank note. It's vertical, not horizontal. The direction is very strange. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you remember about the last two class? Student will come to present something. Present something. Here I have the syllabus. Here, 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 here. Okay, about the end of the last two weeks. Week 17 and week 18. Week 17, student presentation, the first part of the, the students, according to the student number, uh, will come to present. Uh, if you allow me, again, if you allow me to tape record your presentation, please let me know. Uh, I try, I try to tape record the student's presentation, but I will not upload it the videos to my YouTube channel, I will not make those videos available to the public. No, I will not do that because it's about something about the privacy. Privacy. That's one thing. The other thing is uh, maybe students are shy to be on the internet. It's up to you. However, uh, you know, when I was a PhD student in the US, I attended uh, two courses about the uh, TA English. Uh, that, that, as I mentioned in the big group, they really shocked me because uh, uh, when I was a master student in National Time University, I never got such training. For example, uh, this time I, I, said that, I said that we emphasize only our content and we didn't know we need to check our audience. For example, oh, hello everyone, my name is Wan Dala. Today, my presentation about, about the NATO bacteria that is from Japan. We put our side, our focus only two places, small screen and big screen. And we were not asked to check our audience. I didn't know that until I arrived in the US, I got the TS training. So this moment, you can see, uh, hello everyone, just a reminder, the end of this semester, every student should come here to present your ideas. Do you notice that I try to scan every student your eyes here? That is important training, especially all of you will go to the US. I, okay, okay, I, I admit that I, I studied to plan the Taiwan education, but however, I cannot change it. I can change you. I can judge you. The, the skills here, I will share more skills. And and I try to table record that, that. For example, when I joined the TA English course, the teacher asked us, each student who take the course, who need to record their speech. I bought a table recorder. Uh, today I want to discuss something about the chemistry, the experiment and something like this, then we need to turn the tap, yeah, the traditional, the traditional plastic tap
to the teacher. The moment very few MP3 recorder, the moment 20 years ago, don't imagine that, okay? And I will try to do this. If there's a, a one dollar uh, please prevent to record me. I need to I need more courage to do it. Okay, I will respect your your opinion. Okay. Uh, again, each student has five minutes to present. We uh, uh theoretically we have thirty to thirty six students and I, I, I believe maybe ten of them will drop this course. Thus we have ten 25, uh, I think the in the ideal situation, maybe 10 to 15 is enough for me. And two minutes for QA time, for QA time. And next semester, I will have another course called uh, Academic Writing and Presentation. And in the course, it uh, will start uh, in February. I will share more experiences with you, for example, uh, if uh, to be a host uh, today, I'm very happy to to introduce this speaker to all of you. Uh, his name is blah blah blah. He got his PhD degree, his master degree, all certain important licenses from blah blah blah. And ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Chen. And blah, blah, blah. okay, uh, Dr. Chen, start to to talk something. You need to practice this kind of skills. It's kind of hosting. Or moderating, or moderating. Next semester, I will show you more. And please prepare slides. And I highly encourage you to use Google Office or SlideShare instead of Microsoft Office or other, because the kind of office you can use only on your computer. That is not good. That is not. Good. And maybe three, five, or seven, or ten. Slides are enough. Are enough. That uh, I'm not kidding. That's enough because it's it's a good chance for you to practice to practice, and uh, you have only five minutes. Uh, I, I have no idea. Maybe for for American students, five minutes is too, too, sh too short for me. I can say one hour. I, I, that's your business. It's not my business, but I believe most of us are not. A, English native speaker and most of us has never been educated in the US. Thus, we can start from five minutes. Is it okay? Is it okay? I, I believe some of you are, oh, what an easy work, what an easy task today, <laughs> not this semester. But I think for some of you, it's not easy. It's not, do you know that when I was, when I was a PhD student, Every week, every student need to prepare the micro teaching. It's a simulating, yep. The, this one, this semester, uh, about, about the January 15th and January 8th. Uh, students accept uh, some uh, the with low attendance. I will separate uh, according to the student number. We'll take the first uh, half and uh, the other half. The first half will present on January 8th. And every student prepare five minutes. And I will emphasize the, in, yeah, go ahead. The topic uh, about the first food science nutrition about our class. Sorry. Uh, no, it's not necessarily. Uh, I teach some items, uh, some topics, but as long as the topic is related to food science and nutrition, that is okay. Yeah, you, you're right, you're right. But just one requirement. Try to exp explain the topic as easy as you can. Uh, I'm a food scientist. However, I may not know every field in the food science or nutrition. For example, I'm, I'm very okay in food microbiology. 
But about food processing, all different uh, food gene, animal gene editing, I have no idea. So you can select any topic you like, or you can discuss with me in, in advance. Okay, so any student, any suggestion, any comments about our presentation work? Oh, you are so rich. <laughs> A rich man. <laughs> so what's your family what's your family name? Daniel Richmond. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, here. I'm here. The air is not smart. <laughs> Actually, uh, according to the manual, it can trace uh, about one to meet one to two meters, and that's short for me because I will walk around in front of the the screen. Then, okay. Any problem? And let me remind the, the grading policy again. This part is about 16%. Again, attendance, 12%. Oral presentation with slides, 60%. And translation or creative work is 5%. And digital notes, 5%. And you can see optional, it means you can do it as you like. 5%, you can do it as you like. But this part, attendance you is required. And Dr. Yu Da Chen suggested us, no, 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 uh, recommended us, if students, the attendance is less than two thirds, he or she will be failed. It's the policy from IHP. Let me remind everyone again, and here, about the so sorry where is the oh so and the eighteen percent about the discussion during the class during the class as long as you share your ideas you got two marks you got two marks okay then let's start uh, today I want to share you this this this. Uh, before we start, I want to say here. Uh, you will, or you ever read some scientific names of organisms or microorganisms. And you will, or you ever see, or you ever saw those terms, but that is not in English. Let me show you. Here is the, did you notice that the term is in italic? Most of the words on this page are normal, but Campylobacter, this term is in italic. Do you notice that? Why? Is scientific name in biology. In biology. So now let me have three minutes to explain this concept. It's called a binomial nomenclature. Hey, I love Wikipedia. If you ask me, can I use? Can I cite the information from Wikipedia? I have two answers. The first answer, absolutely, you can do that. The second answer is, no, you cannot. Oh, are you crazy? You have the paradox answered simultaneously. No. First, I love Wikipedia. I love to read information on this page. It broadens my view, especially when I check some field that I'm not familiar with. But if you want more exact, reliable resources about this information, you can check here. You can check. Sir, I'm here. Hey. I'm here. <laughs> okay. 
one of my suggestion is here. Reference and uh, other, uh, sorry, external links and reference. Those two part generally the resources are reliable. Again, if somebody asks me, oh, one dollar, I want to learn academic writing, uh, can I use Wikipedia? The information are really rich and a lot of uh, funny, sorry, a lot of fun information. Yes, you can, you can read it, but if you want to cite C-I-T-E, you can use that as your reference. No, you cannot directly use it with Wikipedia as your citation. You can indirectly, not directly, okay? Because you can see information from references and, sorry, and external links. Though it is my skill, for example, uh, when I check some about the physics, about chemistry, the concept, uh, okay, after reading the information from Wikipedia, sorry, Wikipedia, I got it, but I need to cite it, I need to put the citation in my writing. You cannot put this, you cannot use this. You need to use the original. I will explain that next semester. Is it okay for you? Okay, now I'm using the website here to explain what is the scientific name in biology is called a binomial nomenclature. Binomial nomenclature. What is this term? It's two term naming system. To name an organism with two terms. The first term is, 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 generic name. Generic name is from genus. Uh, I know generic name, <laughs> uh, generally when I buy a software or buy a book or buy some device, it says generic. It has different meaning. It means that it's real, it's not fake. But however, the generic name, it means the biology name, the hierarchy is at genus. It's at genus like this. Life, domain, kingdom, freedom, class, order, family, genus. Genus is here. And the next is species. And species, this term is a little bit strange. The same spelling and reading in plural and singular. Is that okay? This species, S-P-E-C-I-E-S, is also the plural form, is also the singular form species okay then the binomial with one name from genus one name from species thus is by binomial name here okay so far any question in the future in the future for example we su switch to the who the can be the vector this is the genus name genetic name and here is the species name, species name. And here is Jejunai or Jejunai is a species name. Actually, we read it as Campylobacter Jejunai or Jejunai. That is the full name of this bacteria. It's a, a foodborne pathogen. Okay, is it clear for you? Is it clear for you? Uh, if you uh, have trouble to, to understand, to catch the concept, you can check the website here. Today is November 6th. The link is here. The link is here. Okay, let me give you one more example. Last week, we discussed uh, something about the seminar. Oh no, sorry, so that is not a good example. 
How about botulinum? Sorry, botulism. Botulinum is, is different term. Okay, botulism. Who know this term? <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, it. Uh, you you can check the term from the dictionary in your language. It means uh, it's a foodborne disease, especially when people eat something with clostridium, botulism, the kind of bacteria that is absolute and aerobic, and that will kill the person. Uh, what kind of situation will encounter this kind of uh, disease, especially the can? And can canning a food in a metal or in a glass container is called can. <laughs> Actually, I, it's it's trouble. Yeah, tin can. Tin can is a different uh, structure. Uh, you know, can has a uh, can very similar to can. C a n e is a kind of fruit, tropical fruit. Can I can do that, or I buy a can or. There is an English sentence called uh, "can opener can open cans." <laughs> okay, you can check this term. This is a disease caused by Clostridium, the kind of bacteria. And generally, homemade sauerkraut or homemade can that that is uh, not good. Uh, and this, okay, let me show you the name of this and the name here Clostridium botulinum botulinum that is the scientific name of this microorganism then we can know first in the website the Clostridium and the name genetic name of the genus botulinum this is the species name, and both names are in italic. In italic, and when you write it, you need to underline those two terms: Clostridium underline, botulinum underline. Okay, but when typing on the website or you use the uh, the Office software, you don't need to underline, but you need to italic, make it italic, as we see here. Again, this is the binomial nomenclature, two-term naming system. Get it? Or get lost? Get it? Okay. <laughs> One person get it, and how many people get lost? Okay, uh, because uh, my, my background is of science uh, with uh, biology, we need to remember all details about this field. Okay, let's go back to... And now, I want to share the information about E. coli here. Later, later I will suggest you to s search E. coli O157 outbreak events. Sorry, I forgot an S here. S events from US CDC, European CDC, WHO, FAO, or CDC in your country, or other reliable sources. And you can copy and paste the information here next to the class. You can do it now and you can consider how to present it. Okay. And now, I'm start to introduce the E. coli. Oh, here is a website. Uh, I, I love the website from UN or WHO or FAO because the websites are under Creative Commons license and I can use it w without against the, the copyright law. Uh, formerly, it should be read as Eshurikia coli. Sorry, Eshurikia coli. But in the US, most of the people read it as Eshurikia coli. Uh, yeah. Last uh, Saturday, 
my family went to IKEA, but I heard about in the U.S. they read that as IKEA. Personally, I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as you like, as you like. But uh, in Taiwan, uh, we have the strange uh, uh, Chinese character culture. We try to read every character correctly. It is not good. It's not good. And this is a bacteria that commonly found in low intestine of warm blooded. What is low intestine? Close to our anus. <laughs> small intestine and large intestine of one blooded organisms most of the E. coli oh, okay here the website forgot to to make it italic strains are harmless what is strains <laughs> sorry I, I start to write this term when i was the second year in the when i was a sophomore the second year in the college but i don't know how to explain it in english uh for example strains generally is describe uh, the different types of bacteria different types of, of bacteria are harmless but some can cause serious of food poisoning oh that is not good and here is a specific term here stec steak stec steak shiga toxin producing e coli s t e c and is a bacterium. Uh, bacterium is in singular form. Bacteria is plural form. Uh, you don't need to memorize this, but if you can remember it, it is okay. It's okay. again, bacterium is singular form. Plural form is bacteria. But how can you say this is? A, I don't know. I'm not a, the editor of this website. They can cause severe foodborne disease. Primary sources of STEC outbreaks are raw or undercooked ground meat. For example, raw milk, uh, sorry, uh, the ground beef, especially in the 1980s in the US. Some uh, three or four people killed due to the undercooked ground beef in a hamburger, or raw milk, or facial contamination of vegetables. And that is a real, uh, not a good, okay. In most cases, the illness is self-limited, but may be lead to a life-threatening disease, including hemolytic. Uh, or called a hemolytic, it means it will release the blood. This term is specific in biology. It means hemolytic, hemolytic. Uremic syndrome, uremic about your urine, your urine system. Actually, US, especially in young children and the elderly. Uh, I know I and you and most of us are strong, so we don't need to care about this. But in young children and the elderly, they need to notice about this disease. Okay, steak is heat sensitive in preparing food at home. Be sure to follow basic food hygiene practice as cook thoroughly. You need to cook it completely. Completely. Uh, next time I will give you a website, a uh, handout from USDA. Uh, in a photo, in a photo, there are two cooked uh, hamburger ground beef, and one look a little bit bloody. The other one look like fully cooked. But USDA warned everyone, don't look at the picture. You need to measure it, not to look at it. Oh, I I will give you the the picture later. Following the WHO five keys to 